So the next thing that we want to use our tens frames for is joining add-ins. So for example, I have a tens frame and right here I have five, six, six blue counters and two red counters. So now I can use these two to join and find out how many total counters do I have. So I start with six, seven, eight. So I know that six plus two equals eight. Here's my next problem. I have four blue counters. I have four red counters. How many total counters do I have? So I have the equation of four plus four equals what? So I know that I'm joining these two add-ins. So I'm going to count up from four. Five, six, seven, eight. So I know that four plus four equals eight. Now how does this look in a word problem? Here's my word problem. Mrs. Hutner has two bunnies. Her friend gave her three more. How many bunnies does she have now? So I know that she started out with two bunnies and then she ha got three more. So I know that my equation is two plus three, but I don't know how many total bunnies she has. So now I'm going to draw it on my tens frame. Here are the first two bunnies that Mrs. Hutner started with. Here are the three bunnies that her friend gave her. So now I can look at my tens frame and I know that Mrs. Hutner has five bunnies. So two plus three equals five. That's how the tens frame can help with word problems. Now it's your turn. You have four candies. Mrs. Hutner gives you three more. How many candies do you have now? Here's your add-ins. Four plus three because you started out with four candies and I gave you three more. Now use your tens frame to figure out how many candies you have. 